In politics, there's no bigger cheese than the president. POTUS gets the big house, the fancy cars, and all the attention. But there's someone in the background who deserves respect. Let's give it up for the VP. Although many Americans believe that the vice president is kind of irrelevant, former VP and Speaker of the House John Nance Garner even described the role as not worth a bucket of warm spit. He or she actually fulfills several important executive functions. The VP is president of the Senate. If there's a tie during a Senate vote, no, not that kind of tie, a draw, they cast the deciding ballot. It's their job to oversee the counting of electoral votes during presidential elections. And if POTUS becomes unable to fulfill presidential duties, the VP is the heir spare, ready to step up as commander-in-chief, something that has happened nine times. Still, the vice president often gets a bad rap for lacking authority. And when the founders gathered to draft the Constitution in 1787, it was only during a late session to discuss leftover business that the role was even thought up in the first place. Initially, it was decided that whoever came second in presidential elections got the consolation prize, the role of vice president. But when they came from different political parties, like fierce rivals John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, it didn't always make for a great working relationship. The 12th Amendment changed the process by making electors cast separate ballots for POTUS and the VP. And when John Tyler stepped up to replace William Henry Harrison following the president's death in 1841, because no one had any better ideas, that established the process of succession, which finally became law 125 years later. Throughout U.S. history, many VPs have used their time in office to do some pretty amazing things. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Manual of Parliamentary Practice, a guide on how to run the Senate. And Kamala Harris broke barriers as the first female VP in history. Thanks to their efforts, today, the VP has never been more visible or important to the democratic process. What duties would you add to the VP's role?